student Dr. Thompson. I'm a third year medical student and in this video I'm going to give you a heads up on some things to expect on your internal medicine rotation as well as the must-have resources for doing well on the huge shelf exam that follows. So internal medicine doctors or internists deal with the prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of adult diseases with residency training lasting three years and an average income about $229,000. The top five conditions statistically that internists encounter are first, diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, hyperlipidemia, and upper respiratory tract infections, with the real challenge being that many patients have multiple chronic illnesses to manage. Now, even if you're not interested in internal medicine as an end goal for your career, it's still very important to do well on this rotation because it will help you on all of your other rotations and it's a stepping stone into many subspecialties. There are 13 total including cardiology, endocrinology, gastroenterology, hematology, nephrology, oncology, pulmonology, and rheumatology. So I did a total of eight weeks on internal medicine, four inpatient in a busy hospital and four outpatient in a large private clinic. And it was almost like two different specialties. So let's start off with my inpatient experience. I worked one-on-one -on -one with a physician who worked really hard. He spent extra time teaching me how to write a bulletproof soap note and how to do a perfect history and physical. We would usually have anywhere from 20 to 30 patients to care for and occasionally had help from mid-level providers when we were swamped. I personally was assigned to four to five patients each day and I had the opportunity to see them, write a soap note, and then present each of them to my attending. A huge amount of knowledge is required and it's constantly challenging and new. Now for a little on my outpatient experience. My experience was much more laid back. Many of the patients were suffering from similar illnesses and had a similar course of treatment. In a way it seemed like somewhat repetitive, like I already knew the patient even though I'd actually never met them. I had just seen someone with similar needs. I saw a lot of patients who were there for follow-up on their diabetes or a med refills. And one challenge was that often patients came in with a list of questions um, or complaints, many of which we either couldn't address because of time or we had to shrug our shoulders and refer them out because we didn't have the answer. And then without really being able to resolve their concerns, they left with a new medication or a dose adjustment and a follow-up in three months. So it's, in some ways it was very challenging as in outpatient, in other ways it wasn't quite as challenging intellectually as inpatient. But it did have patient continuity, which I value quite a bit, and it's a much needed field of medicine. So this rotation will surely challenge you on every level. And the amount of knowledge required for the shelf exam, it, it's, a, it's crazy. And I don't say that to scare you because it was also my highest shelf exam score to date. But I think that knowing the shelf exam covers way more material will help you stay on task in your studies and also do well. So let me tell you what resources I found to be helpful. Number one, most important, UWorld questions. There's 1,381. I only studied UWorld during the last four weeks and got through 600 questions, which is arguably way too fast. So 1,381 questions could easily take you eight weeks to get through. But having 700 questions left over that are fresh for me to help me study for step two isn't a bad idea either. Second resource, I used case files, which is like a textbook, and it has 60 cases written out, high quality with questions. Um, I got I probably got through three quarters of them and found that they were very relevant for the shelf exam questions. My third resource, nothing else. I didn't have time to use anything else and I didn't want to get spread too thin on my studies. So in conclusion, there are aspects of internal medicine that I really enjoyed. For example, I liked that every case on inpatient was like a mystery that I had to solve. It was very intellectually stimulating, it was exciting. And I actually got to put into practice all the information I learned first and second year. I didn't like how crazy hard my schedule was um, and the pressure and stress to recall information on demand was intimidating. I also don't know if I could see myself enjoying outpatient clinic for the rest of my life due to its repetitive nature. 
Um, I think I might get bored. You could make that same argument for any specialty though. Guys, I hope you enjoy this rotation as much as I did. Good luck on your shelf exam. And even though it covers a ton of information, if you use the resources I suggested, you'll do great. Thanks for watching. See you soon.